I want us to do some breathing today. You're like, yeah, I breathe every day. No, no, no. I mean, some real full on breathing that's going to really help you stay in the present space. It, it, you know, I don't think people give credit enough. Like, I mean, sure, if you do yoga and, and, and you meditate, you do all of those things, you understand the importance of breath, but we all get caught up in life, right? Let's be honest. Like, you're not just walking around all day long going, I better breathe correctly, right? That'd be a little weird. So I wanted to give you a few different exercises that you can do and we can practice a few together. And I've done this a few times, but uh, I feel like it's important because there's so much going on in the world and just in your own life. And you know, sometimes when you're in that space, um, you kind of can't see past yourself. So, you know, you're, you're too far ahead or you, you're still ruminating in the past and it's about staying in the present space and being able to really execute what the breath is. So I kind of want to go a little bit deeper as to why that's important, right? Breath is life. We kind of know that, right? So what it does is it brings you back to the base of where you are. So let's say, and you can do this anywhere. That's the beautiful part. You don't have to like over prepare for it. You can just sit in your office. You can be driving down the road. Like a lot of those things can happen. Now, you, mostly you can do those with your eyes open. You might see me demonstrate with my eyes closed. And that's just because I get so ingrained into seeing things. And it's because I do so much of the breathing exercises. So when I'm closing my eyes, I can do it with my eyes open. But when I'm closing my eyes, I can literally see the colors and the feelings. And, and that comes with time, right? Like it's kind of like when people meditate, they go, oh, my mind's wandering. Well, yeah, that's okay. But it's once you can get to the space to where you can stay in a present space and silence the mind, it is like so restorative. You're not going to get there overnight and you're not going to get there fast. Like it's it just, it's something to be aware of. So a few different ways. And like I said, I've done this a few times, but I want to demonstrate again. So obviously, you know, to take a deep breath. And why is that important? Because most of the days we're shallow breathing. Most of the days we're like, we're breathing from the chest. We're not breathing from the belly. We're not belly breathing. We're not taking in those deep cleansing breaths. And I highly encourage you to do that before you even get out of the bed in the morning. So in general, the deep cleansing breaths, and I want you, when you can, you might, well, I hope you're not watching this driving. I'm thinking of the podcast where I'm like, you're driving. I hope not. So put your hands when you get a chance, put your hands on your stomach. Okay, just, you can do it this way. You can do it this way. Just put your hands on your stomach and I want you to take a deep breath in, but I want you to push it from the stomach. So it's going to be like, push from the stomach and then exhale through the mouth. Now that, you, you don't have to necessarily do that Darth Vader breath. It's called a Ujjayi breathing. It's very, very connective. It's very empowering. You don't have to do that. It's really big in yoga. If you've done yoga, it's called Ujjayi breathing, but you can just exhale. So you're going to inhale through the nose. You're going to exhale through the mouth. And I like for you to do this for probably a couple minutes, but don't rush it. Like I don't want you hyperventilating. So as you have your hand on your stomach, you're just going to just sit there for a minute. It's okay. If thoughts come, just let them come, acknowledge them and just let them go. But when you come back to breath, you're having to concentrate on a lot of that. So it's keeping you in a very present space. Now, the other one I like doing, they do it in the SWAT team. They do it everywhere. It's called box breathing. Some people do it in different numbers. I do it four, 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 four. Um, I've done this with you before. And this is where sometimes I like to close my eyes before we do it. I want you to inhale for four. We're going to count to four when you inhale through your nose. And I want you to think of a color. There's no colors that are bad, no colors that are good. So I want you to think of whatever that color is. I want you to inhale that. Then you're going to hold your breath for four. When you hold your breath for four, I want you to change the color. Now, you're not just thinking about the color, and this is going to take some time. This one's going to be one that you're going to really have to implement. And again, I would recommend you close your eyes until you can really kind of get this down. I can do it with my eyes open, but I want to demonstrate. So you're going to change the color and you're going to hold that for four. And when you're doing that, you're seeing that color kind of like as a wave sort of flowing through you. Visualization may be hard for you in the beginning. Don't panic about it. It will come. And then you're going to change the color again when you exhale out of your mouth for four, right? So it's make you, making you, and the colors will often change. Like they are not, you're just going to have to let it come. Don't overthink it. Just the color comes to my mind. And then you're just going to breathe normal for four. And I like for you to do that for about eight to 10 cycles. So like each one of that is a cycle. So I like you to do that about eight to 10 cycles. Again, you're going to go very slow. And so what you're going to do is you're going to inhale, right? So we're going to do this together. 
and you're going to pick whatever color it is, but try to visualize that going throughout your, your body. You're going to go very slow with your four. It's not going to be one, two, three, four. It's going to be like one, two, three, four. Then you're going to change the color, whatever comes to your mind. You're going to hold that for four. Then we're going to exhale for four, whatever color that is. So I'm going to demonstrate it once, and then you can do it on your own. So let's do that together. So close your eyes. If you can close your eyes, close your eyes. And I want you to just, boom, think of a color. Don't overthink it. Think of a color. Mine was green. Don't let that get in your head. So you're going to inhale. Watch it wave through your body. You're going to hold it for four and change the color. Mine's red. And then you're going to exhale pink for four. One, two, three, four out of your mouth. And then you're going to breathe regular, right? That's your box breathing. That's how I do it. A little bit different than most people. Um, do that for about eight to 10 cycles, right? But be in a place if for this one. The other one you can do anywhere. And the alternate nostril breathings, which I'm getting ready to do, you can do that anywhere too. But this one, I kind of like for you to be a little bit more grounded. You can do it in your car. You can do it anywhere you want. Because I, I want you to give yourself a few minutes to kind of do these, these practices. And it brings you back to base because you're having, you're not, not purposefully concentrating on it, but you're seeing the color, you're counting the numbers, you're seeing the color. You're so it brings you back to grounding. It's like an amazing thing. The other one is alternate nostril breathing. Very good and very activating, right? And I like for you to do about eight to 10 set cycles on this. So it's very simple. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to cover one nostril and you're going to breathe as deep as you can, as long as you can. And then you're going to exhale out of your mouth, right? So you're going to inhale, you're going to exhale out of your mouth. Some people like you to exhale out of your nose, but sometimes that can be a little weird if you have congestion. So it would look like this. Real deep. Take it as high as you can, right? And then you would do this side. And I like, that's one cycle. One, one two, two, right? Do that. Now, you don't have to do them all at the same time, but they're great exercises. Uh, breath is the key to life, and it's the key to staying grounded. So when you make that a daily practice, did you hear that? Daily practice, and you can change them up. Don't wait to be in stress. Don't wait to do that, because then you're going to be doing it with the expectation of feeling better, and I don't want you to do that. I just want it to be part of your morning practice or your evening practice or at lunchtime, and I think you'll find great help for that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you've done, how you've seen it effective. So start breathing, baby.